Sounds like a freight train. Who knew wind can cut rock? Wouldn't mind learning to do that. Yeah, well, with my luck, I'll wind up a medic like my mom. Didn't work out so well for her. Shouldn't you be in training? Shouldn't you? I'm Scylla. I'm Rio. So how come you get to skip out on all the fun, huh? I'm Necro. We work with the dead. They keep us away from the general populace. Well, lucky you. Come with me. I'm, I'm all gross. No, you're not. Live a little. Okay. <laughs> this salva What were you thinking? We need to get you both to the infirmary. I don't know what your game is, but my eyes are on you. Stay away from her. So that was your big plan then? You just ruin your chances for war college. Get deployed too soon and get blown up on the front lines because you suck so bad. Yeah, well, I hate to break it to you, beautiful, because there's no way out. This is important. <laughs> I need to secure this area. Okay, I gotta go. Since we're on the subject, where do you come from? We moved around constantly. You a base brat? My parents didn't serve. Huh. How'd that work out for them? It's complicated. How do you complicate it? Bells are ringing. Do we have to go? All right, so. Maybe I have a special necro in my life. This evening just got interesting. Who is she? Still around. Great girl. Best in her year. Yeah. Like cagey, huh? Scylla's got her own stuff. I heard the army killed her folks. Again, don't quote me, but I don't mess you up. Give your special necro a minute to open up. Bet she's worth it. Oh well. I want to show you something beautiful. It's a death camp. In the kingdom of plants, mushrooms can find the underworld. Nothing ever really dies. My mom is really dead. Death is more complicated than people think. So cut and dry. I'm sorry about the other day. I don't talk about myself very easily. Take as much time as you need. I've been burned before. You're so beautiful. I'll come find you after. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> what are you doing here? You may have the army fooled, but I know who you are. People change, Porter. I hope that's true. Miss me? Yeah, always. Is your family on this thing? No, my family history is complicated. You know, there's more to the place than this family bullshit. Come on. Your ex is here. 
I didn't realize you'd met him. What's going on, Sol? You don't need to worry about him. No, no, you don't get to bet this one. You either tell me what's going on or I'm leaving. Well, not here. We were all part of this loose network moving from place to place and staying with different families. So your parents were Dodgers? I, I just, I don't get why you feel like you have to keep that a secret. I mean, it's not like it's shameful or anything. I mean, no more than having a civilian father. But it is illegal. Right. And when the military tried to arrest my parents, the whole thing went south and they were both killed. I don't even know what to say, so I'm so sorry. Well, I'm gonna help you. But that stuff that border said. If I do, Get the urge to run. I'll take you with me. Thought you had training. This is a pleasant surprise. You're supposed to be luring her to us. To you. The wedding the bellwethers are throwing? Get yourself invited. You know what we should do? We should run away together. <laughs> I'm serious. We'll run away and live on the beach. Leave our medals hanging on the door. <laughs> Tell the birds to sing our goodbyes. I really wish you could come with me. Don't not go because of me. I like doing everything because of you. This is for you. Sexy weird. <laughs> like us. Yeah, that it is. I have something for you too. Hold out your hand. This is the murmur. I just always want to be able to say hi to you, wherever you are. I love you. Let me know if Abigail changes her mind. Yeah, good luck with that. She wasn't able to get me on the guest list. I don't know what else I can do. I can't believe you're here. How the hell did you get here? You can't crash this wedding. You're not supposed to be here. She goes where I go. You okay? I'm not afraid if that's what you're asking. I expressly told you to stay away from her. I suggest you end it sooner than later. Or I will make life. Very difficult for you, perhaps, Lauren. Yes, ma'am. Awaiting instructions on an extraction point. I need to know if she'll be safe once I get her there. Should I wait with her? Come with me. Hello, walk on the beach. Can we dance for a minute? Sure. Of course. No matter what happens, I love you. Thanks, Stella. It's spring. Everyone clear out! Move inside! What's happening? Priscilla. We need someone out there looking for her, Tally. I'm sure the army has an investigation going on. Well, is Anacostia in charge of finding out what happened? Because I, I don't know, Rael. We have to wait. We have to calm down. I knew you hate her. 
But she could still be alive. Hate, love, or like have nothing to do with it. We were all standing there together. You saw her. You saw her and that she was gone. Is that in your investigation? Did you touch that? Why? Is it dangerous? No, no. It's just better if it's left alone. I'm... I'm actually here because I'm looking for my girlfriend, Scylla Ramsor. I just... I, I can't eat, I can't sleep, and I feel like I'm going crazy because nobody's taking this seriously. Oh, hell. Scylla was killed in the storm. Rael? Scylla's dead. What? No. Who told you that? Her necro teacher. We were supposed to go to the beach. She was gonna take me to the safest place she'd ever been. That's where she is. She's not dead. She's at the lighthouse. Scylla's not. Scylla's not here. This will only be as hard as you make it. Just let me in. Get out of my head! There's nothing you can do. They won't stop until there's total liberation. Spreen, you brought her to my cousin's wedding? Neither of you know the first thing about her. I know Scylla. She's not Spree. She was going to turn you over to them. That's all I needed to know. I was protecting you, Rael. I don't need your protection. I need Scylla back. Please tell me it isn't true. She said she loved me. She told you what you needed to hear.
I love what you've done to the place. It's kind of medieval. I confess, I am a witch. <laughs> Alder wants to send you to our prison in the Caribbean. That sounds nice, although I do tend to burn. It's the kind of place no one comes back from. Let me see Rael one more time. <laughs> Why would I do that? If you give me this, I'll tell you all about the horrible things that made me who I am. She's being moved to a military prison. Asked to see you one more time. It's likely she'll never return. I think it helps Scylla, maybe even help you to see her. Say goodbye. You believed everything they said about me. I loved you. I still love you. Was anything real? Any of it. All of it. Why did you pick me? Is it because my mom died when well, you thought I'd be a likely convert? Do you really look like I'm calling the shots around here? They didn't tell me. Why you know what? Managed. You know what? I get it. I get it. I was the sickest, weakest gazelle in the herd. I was easy prey for you. You have no idea how powerful you are. I don't feel powerful. I feel broken. Thanks to you. I'm sorry we ever met, so... I chose you! I had orders to deliver you. I chose you. Instead of them, I chose you. Please. I still love it. I know. So stupid. No, you're not. She loves you. That part's real. Prison transport is scheduled in two hours. Oh, I haven't packed yet. I don't know what beating she's talking about. Shut to. up. He'll die there. What are you doing? I have no idea. What I'm doing. Against every piece of wisdom that I know and hold dear, I'm giving you a fighting chance. Because I think you deserve it. Do not make me wrong about that. Hold on to the part of you that's good. You were supposed to bring me my daughter. Why didn't you tell me you were her mom? I couldn't risk it. How could you send me in blind? You burned me with the army for a personal mission. And then you sent that charming agent to choke me into compliance. And when I don't deliver Riel, you sent in the troops to attack a wedding. The attack on the Bellwether wedding had nothing to do with the spree. There is something else I need to show you. Please. The ancient enemy has returned. The Camarilla. I want you to join me in hunting them. I warned all witches everywhere that the Camarilla is back. I hope they heard me. That's a fetch. We're on the move. She's been tracked. Why didn't you reach out to her? Did you know that when Rael was 10, I spent a total of 18 days with my family? Yeah, she said it was like that a lot. Because they didn't approve of who I married. They decided to keep me in the field and keep us apart. And once we knew the Camarilla had returned, I started thinking she might be better off, safer in the army. What about now? What would I even say? In war college, gossip is intel. There's only one thing I've heard that concerns me. Scylla. That 
had to suck. Yeah, I just want to make sure that this is all in the past. No more secrets that are going to come to light and reflect poorly on this company. I also think about that person, that witch. Does it keep her up at night thinking about what she did? Is there anything human left in her? What the hell are you doing? I can ask you the same thing. Revisiting some of your old haunts, feeling nostalgic. You've been following me. That fetch. I was here, been watching you for weeks. You're trying to infiltrate this movement, figure out who's behind it. It's more complicated than that. You think it's the Camarilla? I want in on what you're doing. Ask Chin. What's really going on here? There are things that I've seen lately. Things about the army and Alder in particular that just don't sit right. Including the decision to just throw you away. Is that what you want? Let's see. Mercedes on the moon with those hearing test results. Hopefully toward a higher up in the Camarilla. Good. Stay on him. You can keep the photo, by the way. I miss her too. Caller. You'll be on Alder's personal security detail once we get there. Guess it's the price of fame, huh? Gonna stare at that all day? You've been on base. How is she? Keep your mind on the mission. We need to go. No, 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 no. When we're in, then we are out now. Saudi is moving. We keep a low profile. We ride this out. Some of your daughters may be called, but they will be in great company. And they will do things that they never thought were possible. Someone once told me that I had to let the army make me strong. And she was right. The army saw something in me that I didn't even know was there. Your daughters will be safe with us. No. Time to go. Yeah. I do. Tell me I'd know those eyes anywhere. Did you know that Scylla escaped from custody? Why would I know anything about that? Maybe because you're the last soldier to see her before she was allegedly shipped off to jail. And before you try to get me off this, I saw her. At the riot. Where I found this. So unless this is another spree agent trying to screw with we my head? We are aware that Ramshorn is no longer in custody, and yes, she was on site yesterday. And how long have we known that she's on the loose? So long as it benefits the military, and in this case, it does. How did she get this? I'm sorry, Collar. really wish I could help. 
Stop. Take me, not her. Why would we do that? Because I'm a witch. Justine, what are you doing? My name is not Justine. Ignorant rat carcass. I've killed thousands of civilians. And I enjoyed it. Every single time. Perfect. The little one can watch while we deal with you. Check or that made you that way and there ain't a thing you could do to break your bond with her Is she? You're the witch from the party. Yes, I am. And you're gonna lead us to the girls you took. If I would have just brought her when you ordered, none of this would be happening. You actually protected her. Thank you. I just want her to be safe. Too. What if it's too late? No. No. No way. That girl knows how to put up a fight. There! She's in the clean room. I need to step back. Tell her I was her more than anything in my whole life. Help me! Help me! We can handle this from here. Well, I'm coming. It's okay. You're safe now. Your mother loved you so much. The hardest thing in her life was keeping away from you. You knew. The whole time. I swear I didn't know she was your mom until I showed up without you. Real, she was 
devastated. The two women I've loved most in this world were terrorists who did awful things. What does that say about me? Does it help that we were doing what we believed to be right? Believed? My priorities have shifted. Your mom showed me the way. The people that took you and did what they did to you are the only enemy that matters. I just wish I didn't have to carry it all. How are you alone? You've got Abigail and Tally, and they're always going to be your sisters. That's all right. You should probably make yourself scarce. No. I don't care what happens. I'm not walking away from you again. You're not a part of this. Abs, are you so stubborn you'd ignore the one person who has a chance of helping you? She had my back in that lap. You saw that. We need her. used to be. I think he knows not to ask too many questions. You do know right otherwise. I am. I think I've even made a new friend. <sighs> this is where we go when we die. We live on through the mother. And our power lives on through you. Cadet. You, you feel free to stay on at the house for as long as you like. I've imposed too much already. Look, if you're a part of my little girl's life, then you're a part of mine too. What do you call it? I call it Morrigan's Whisper. What's wrong? I don't know. Front step. Come on, let's go. Over here. Uh, What's happening to her? Uh, uh, run! It's all over the news. There's, there's some sort of attack happening at Fort Salem. And the war is upon us. I love you too. Officer Cadets Abigail Bellwether, Tally Craven, and Rael Calder. You are hereby remanded into custody in connection with the murder of Penelope Silver. Edward, 
Hi, I'm a friend of Riel's. Is Silla there? It's urgent. You just keep getting better. You like that? No. You saved my life. Again. Yes, I could. I don't want to be apart from you anymore. Me neither. Like, ever.